Hello everybody! This video will show you what to do if starting a game like GTA San Andreas, GTA 4, Warcraft, League of Legends, World of Tanks, Assassin's Creed, FIFA, Sims, Fallout or others, you encounter an error. The program can't start because DLL is missing from your computer. Try reinstalling the problem, the program to fix this problem. There is no exact list of possible missing DLL files because there are so many of them. However, the most widespread ones are D3D DX943 DLL, Xinput13 DLL, D3D X931 DLL, D3D X934 DLL, X input 12 DLL, D3D11 DLL, and others. Several of the most popular DLL file names will also be given in the description of this video. To begin with, don't hurry to search the web for the missing DLL file and copy it to your computer. It doesn't always work and it is not the right solution for the problem. First of all, a missing DLL file error means problems with the DirectX installed in your PC. Every version of Windows is installed with its own DirectX version, which we can see in the official Microsoft website. Windows 10 with DirectX 11.3 and 12. Windows 8 with DirectX 11.1 and 11.2. Windows 7 with DirectX 11 and 11.1. Windows Vista with DirectX 10, 10.1 and 11. Windows XP with DirectX 9. Find this link in the description. To update DirectX to a version newer than currently installed, except for cases of upgrading to another compatible version, it is necessary to update the operating system or install a newer version of Windows. That is, you won't be able to update or install DirectX 12 for Windows 7. Windows doesn't have an opportunity to, to roll back th to the previous version of a DirectX either. You can learn the version of a DirectX installed on your PC by running a diagnostic utility. To do it, press Windows plus R, enter DXDIAJ, a DirectX diagnostic tool will open. The DirectX version is shown in the corresponding line. As we can see, Windows 10 comes equipped with DirectX 12 package by default. Further downloading and updating packages takes place with Windows Update. In the same way, DirectX should update in Windows 7 and 8. If you encounter the error, the program can't start because DLL is missing from your computer. Try reinstalling the program to fix this problem. When starting software or games, which is more often the case, then you should start solving it with updating DirectX drivers. You will have to install an official Microsoft utility, dxwebsetup.exe, which you can download from its official website. And you can find this link in the description of this video. After installation, it will automatically download and install the missing DirectX components to your computer, if it has Windows 7, Windows 8 or Windows 10. Download, cancel and continue, save as. Save it. Start the downloaded utility dxwebsetup.exe. Accept the license agreement and click Next. Uncheck the box to install Bing Panel. After that, the installation starts. As my computer has the latest version of DirectX, the system notifies me about that. In your case, the updated version of DirectX will be installed on your computer. DirectX issues can also arise when trying to start an old game which requires an older DirectX version, and this is often the case with Windows 10. To solve this problem, do the following. Go to Programs and Features, turn Windows features on or off, find legacy components on the list, Check the box next to Direct Play. OK. Installation begins. Applying changes. Windows has applied the necessary changes, so you close this window. 
After that, restart the computer for direct play to take effect and start your game once more. If the game or program asking for an older version of DirectX still refuses to run, try starting it in the compatibility mode. Watch one of our videos in, in our channel to learn how to start programs in the compatibility mode. You can find the link in the description. That is all for now. If you like this video, click the like button below and subscribe to our channel to see more. Ask questions in comments. Thank you for watching. Good luck!